Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about programming that is, and, and that it's easy if you're non-technical. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how, do, how should I respond to a non-programmer who thinks that programming is easy? And the short answer is just look them in the eye and say, well, maybe you write the code then. Done. That's the whole video. I don't, I'm very, this is a very easy question. I don't think I've ever, ever met a single non-technical person who thought that programming was easy. Because it would be the same thing as saying that, oh, you know what? Chinese is really easy if you've never spoken the language. Okay, so it's an easy language, but you can't communicate in it. So what, what's the easy part? I don't think I've ever met a single non-technical person who I, I don't. I would love to meet this person, this the subscribers, the the person in question here, or maybe this is a theoretical person. I don't know, because I can. It cannot. For, I cannot for the life of me understand how an individual could say so who has no understanding of software engineering would go out and say that it's easy to do this. Because in reality, it's actually so complicated that most of the industry fails on a daily basis to do it correctly. That's why we have bugs. That's why we have tons and tons of people going and educating themselves for years and years and years in order to even be able to produce a simple application. It's one of the most difficult things to, to get right. To learn how to do some basic coding, yes, sure, that might not be all that complicated, but to do this in a sustainable way at the levels of complexity that you usually find within the industry it's enormously tricky and then to align all the different people who are supposed to be you know kind of doing their part and making sure that they are not causing regression bugs and like providing some type of architectures and like all of this different stuff is it's really tricky the only time i've ever had or and this does happen i will admit i've never had anybody tell me that they thought software engineering is easy but I've always thought, I've, I, you can always meet people who think that it's easier to, like it should go quicker. That, you know, if you just know what you're doing, like a software engineer, well, then everything can be very quick. Like uh, you can build something like Facebook in a week, or you can absolutely create a new search engine or a social media site or something like that in a few days if you just, you know, if you just get the programmer, because the programmer is going to be able to do this right. And that, that's the thing, like, I'm, that, that I will admit, that there's so, like, I, think, I don't think I've ever met a non-technical person who didn't have a very poor understanding of the sort of time investment and sort of complexity investment we're talking about when we're trying to build something of some type of scale. Like, they, they will be the first to admit that, oh, they don't know anything about code. So that part is, is kind of weird if somebody's telling you that, but they will t absolutely admit, most of them admit to that, at least the ones that I work with, they will admit that at first they thought that everything was kind of quick, that it would be very quick to just finish things up. And the reality is that I think that, the, or rather the analogy that I like to make here is that, well, it's sort of like being a construction worker for us. Well, of course, if you, if you want me to build a small wooden box or like if I want to, if I was a carpenter, well, building a wooden box, yeah, that is fairly straightforward. So if you're asking me to build a wooden box, then yeah, that's gonna go really quickly. But that's not what you're asking for because you have fuck all understanding of how large the request that you are making of me actually is. So when you ask me for a skyscraper and then you look at me like you're, it's weird that that's gonna take me several, several, several months and months and months and months with tons of people. And it's, that's the problem. Like it's the, the problem is the, uh, the non-understanding of the technical person. They have no idea what it is that they are ordering. Like the, your customer is, I hate to say this, but you're, you have a stupid customer. You have an uninformed customer. And that this is, I'm sorry, usually your life. Your life is that you're dealing with people who have no understanding of how difficult the thing that you are doing is. It's... Uh, that might that's something you're gonna have to deal with pretty much on a daily basis and the the thing is like it's this is like constant I have 
just the other day I had an estimate go wildly wrong for, for, for myself when I was working. So I had, me and my coworker, we had estimated a piece of work to one week. I think we're on week three now or something like that. And my, my manager kind of came in and said, okay, we need to evaluate, like, how did it go so wrong? How can a week estimate go up to three times that of that? And I kind of said, oh, it's very easy. Because you asked us to estimate this without any artboards. Half the story, you, you couldn't answer more than half of our questions where you went unanswered and you didn't even know how most of the feature was going to work when you asked us to estimate this. And then when we said all of this, you, all you said was that, oh, but I just need a rough estimate. That's what you said. And then we didn't reevaluate this as things went along. You were came unfinished uh, and asked us to estimate a piece of work based on like smoke and mirror. Like, it, it was, it was, it, there was nothing to go on. So we need to just come up with a number and I'm sorry if that came out if this if that came out as the wrong estimate, but that's the reality of the situation. And guys, this is this is every day, every single day. You're going to have to deal with the, having to. You're going to have to deal with people who have no understanding of what it is that you do, pretty much every single day. And sometimes you're going to have to explain to them why things take longer or why things are complicated and the only way that you can defend yourself is that <clears throat> you can pretty much just point at their own that they, that they you you are luckily enough if you have a little bit of self-confidence in a power position many times where because you can always take the expert role they have no way of penetrating like what you're saying you can always as i as you saw as you heard me say you can always just point and say that oh well you didn't give me the information that i needed and there there's no way for them to to circumvent it because they simply don't know enough to to question you if a developer comes up to you and says, hey, you know what, this is taking kind of long, and then they can see that, oh, you're using, I don't know, a very advanced way of working, or you're trying out something fancy, and they can very quickly say, well, the problem is that you're, too, you're trying, taking too long because you're trying to make a very fancy implementation of this. And that's a situation where they can call you out, but most non-technical people, they can't call you out. The dangerous part about this is that if they are unreasonable or, immature or well a range of other things they might actually punish you even though they might be in the wrong it doesn't really matter because they're too stupid to understand why things take longer than they and then then they understand and i don't like to call people stupid i'm sorry but that it, it comes down to it comes down to being uninformed to not understanding the, the what is entailed in building software so what i want you to take away from this is that I don't think I've ever met a single person who thought that software engineering, like writing code and so, and so forth, was easy. I don't think that, uh, well, never. What I do ha can, what I can tell you is that pretty much every single par person, though, thinks that everything should go faster than it actually, than it should always move faster than it does every single time. And it should always be sta more stable, it's always quicker, like all of these things they have preconceptions about. And the only thing, the only tip I can give you is that you have the expert role. And if you have the expert role, you can do uh, as, I, as I did, you can always explain why things take longer. Well, because, oh, well, you know, I said that I was going to do this in three days, but in between those, that estimation and the delivery, which takes twice that time, you asked me to fix a bunch of bugs, and then there was another feature that you wanted me to work on, and then you pulled me in a, into a meeting where I sh when I needed to, uh, to help you with your things, etc., etc., etc. Because, guys, when you say that something's going to take three days, they may think that, oh, it's going to be done in three days. Well, no, it might take three days of actual work, but if you keep on fucking up my workflow in between and asking me to solve all kinds of fires that are happening everywhere else, it's going to take longer. And you need, I'm sorry, guys, this is every single day. You have to deal with it. And I have no better tip to you than get ready. Get ready to deal with people who have absolutely no understanding of how difficult it's in the... I, how things can take so long. They just don't see the pattern. Have a great day.